Hello everyone, this is Pooja Shri from RMK College of Engineering and Technology from ECE department. I welcome you all to the seminar presentation. I First of all, I would like to extend my gratitude to a mentor Bharada Srija ma'am and my ER coordinator Dr. T.M. Inbamalar ma'am and head of the department Dr. Gangadharan sir. Before entering into the actual topic, let me throw a light on a positive quote. So yes, here it is. You can do anything you set your mind to do, but the thing is, you must believe in yourself. Without further delay, let us move into the actual topic that we are going to see today. Before entering, entering to it, I will ask a question like, do you guys ever thought like uh, being in a home, uh, can we consult a doctor? So yes. It is an amazing technology named IOMT that is Internet of Medical Things. These are all the table of contents that we are going to discuss today. What is IOMT? Why we are going for IOMT? And what are all the components used? And what is the advantages and disadvantages of IOMT? And also we are going to see where and all these IOMTs can be implemented. And the interesting part is we are also going to see about the future enhancement. Okay, after seeing these uh, table of contents, I think you guys have a doubt uh, whether she is talking about IoT. Yes, of course. Uh, IOMT is the type of uh, IoT which will be discussed in our further slides. First, what is IOMT? IOMT is a group or collection of uh, medical devices such as wheelchairs, defibrillator, oxygen pumps and uh, these applications will connect to healthcare IT via online computer networks. Let us discuss how these devices are connected. These devices are equipped with Wi-Fi and which allows the machine to machine communication. Alright, we have seen how the devices are connected and how the communication will be. But we have a doubt where these uh, data transfer from online will be stored. Yes, here is the answer for that. These IOMT devices are linked to the cloud platform such as Amazon Web Services on which the data, is and the data will be captured and it will be stored and um, the data will be analyzed. Next comes why we are going for IOMT. Why not we are using a name IoT? Because IoT includes all the networks or of interconnected devices like uh, biometric uh, cyber security and uh, internet connected factory equipments, autonomous farming equipment, etc. But IOMT will uh, mainly focus specially on the healthcare and uh, medical applications. The sensitivity and strict regulators around the healthcare data. IOMT also requires some more uh, security infrastructure than any other IoT system. Since it is related to health, uh, we, should mo we should provide more security to the data. And these devices uh, also help to track the heart performance and BP level and also other uh, activities in our body system. Also, we can see uh, many of our grandparents, not only them, uh, but also as sometimes uh, may forget to take the prescribed medication given by the doctor, right? So hereafter, we no need to worry about this because IOMT devices will help us to uh, take them by reminding us through messages. So next, we will see what are all the components which is used for IOMT. So the first layer is a perception layer. It consists of small medical devices with trackers and sensors. This layer represents by the range of small uh, medical devices which collects all kind of health data. The following layer is a connectivity layer which is responsible for data transmission from the perception layer to the cloud and also in vice versa which will be connected through uh, networks and gateways and the third layer is the processing layer which is presented by cloud middleware or iot platforms to store and uh, it actually manages data the final layer is an application layer uh, which provides end users um, with data analytics uh, reporting and uh, device control opportunities through software solutions so each technology has its own advantages and disadvantages, right? So now we will discuss about what is the advantages of uh, 
choosing IOMT. Utilization of uh, resources and infrastructure is optimal. And uh, of course, the cost is low. And the main advantage is the uniformity of data is available. Next comes the disadvantages. Since it is a wireless medical devices, there will be a lot of security challenges. To use this apps and the medical devices of IOMT system, uh, doctors requires a lot of training. This is the main dis disadvantage. Next comes uh, the applications of uh, IOMT. There are uh, many interesting applications. The first one is Eurosense, which monitors the urine output and the body temperature of the patients through the process of catheterization. The second is a cardio core, which is developed an um, ECG monitor designed to provide a continuous medical grade. The third is Takeda, which helps the patient with major depressive disorder. And also final one is a skin condition monitoring system, which links the entire system with implant objects and uh, uh, constantly keep track on the patient's skin. Not only these applications, we also have a wide range of applications of IOMT. So finally, it is a uh, future enhancement. Uh, there are many researchers are going on for the future enhancement of IOMT. The IOMT technology has undoubtedly improved healthcare, bringing such revolutionary innovation as a glucose monitoring, uh, depression and mood monitoring, automated insulin delivery, uh, connected inhalers and contact lenses. So finally, I want to conclude my seminar with an interesting survey that is IOMT market value is projected to reach $158.1 billion by 2022. This is uh, three times as much as in 2017. These surveys reported by Deloitte, which is a drastic change. So with this note, I want to conclude my seminar. Thank you guys for listening with a great patience. I wish you all the best. Thank you.